So welcome to North Country Woodshop. My name is Tony Leone, and this is my first YouTube video. So you, I have to apologize in advance for all the mistakes. I'll get better as we go. But anyway, here's my first video. Thank you. All right, welcome to North Country Woodshop. This is my first YouTube video. Uh, I'm gonna try laser engraving uh, ceramic tile that you get from Lowe's. I got it for 14 cents for each square, four by four square. And I decided to order the Ceramark black laser marking spray that you can use for all kinds of different stuff. Metals, glass, ceramic, brick, slate, and all kinds of stuff. But uh, I got the two ounce because I wanted to try it. It was on sale for $10. And so here it is. Uh, pretty straightforward, just a little bottle, two ounce. You can get it online. And then here is the actual tile. Just a uh, basic tile. What you want to do first to prep it is you want to take some acetone, which I've already done, and you just want to wipe off any imperfections. Sometimes when they do the glazing process, they leave a little bit of junk on it. And so by using the acetone, you uh, clean it up really well. And then you take it and you just apply a real thin coat to it of the Ceramark. Uh, just take it outside and it will dry gray. it goes on black and then it dries gray and then you let it dry about 15 to 20 minutes uh, take it to your laser and when you put it in the laser you want to run it at about a uh, hundred percent power and then uh, you want to run it at 70% uh, of what your power is for speed so this is what it looks like once it's just been lazed and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it in and we're going to clean it off. I just did a, a grayscale photo. Uh, I've been experimenting back and forth. I've seen some people use black and white and then they use all kinds of different conversions. I just did the grayscale on this ceramic and then we're going to take it inside. I'm going to show you how to clean it off. It cleans off really easy. All right, we're just going to clean it off. It cleans off real easy with just water. So you just take the water. Just run it over it, take your finger, and literally just rub it off. It rubs off super, super easy. And then what you'll see is the image itself is not coming out great at this point, but we take a, just a scratch pad, and then you just take a scratch pad, and you kind of rub it off, rub off the excess. And I'm going to pause this while I scrub, scrub it off. And then here is the finished product. It actually turned out remarkably well. Um, you can adjust probably just the contrast a little bit better in your photo. But considering this is my first go at it, it turned out great. Um, and then here is a couple others. I did an Iron Man comparison. The one at the top is 100 power and 30 speed. And the bottom one is 100 power and the 50 speed, which it recommends. And I would say that you want to do the 50 speed because if you look at the top one, as you can see, it's darker and it's not nearly as much detail. I think the power or the laser is staying on the substrate just a little bit too long and darkening it up. And then if you wanted to do something like letters, again, the letters turn out fantastic as well. Um, as you can see on the tile. The one thing it doesn't do a great job of, I noticed, was I did some um, ornaments that were, I ordered some ceramic sublimation ornaments, and that does not work at all. It will not turn the letters black um, like it does on the actual ceramic tile itself. So if you're doing coasters, or you're doing something like that, this is perfect. I mean, it doesn't come off. It's not coming off at all. So anyway, this is my first video. I'm